Welcome to the most dangerous and unusual place for tourism. Do you like horror movies and weird landscapes? Do you like riddles and unexplained phenomena? Great! Then you'll definitely like the Mystery Flesh Pit. This is a wide tunnel, so large that the Eiffel Tower could fit inside it, and its depth is still unknown. But the point is that this tunnel seems to be a living creature. It's a giant monster that breathes, makes sounds, and can even move and affect your mood. If you're intrigued, come to the Permian Basin in West Texas. Here you can book a hotel with windows facing the giant meat hole, enjoy a delicious breakfast, and take amazing photos of this frightening phenomenon. But the most incredible thing is that you can go on an excursion into the depths of this monster. Don't worry, all of our employees are real professionals with extensive skills in diving into the meat pit. During this journey, you can touch the creature with your hands, see unknown beasts living inside this organism, and take a seashell from the endless labyrinth with you as a keepsake. Enjoy your unforgettable vacation, a trip to the mystery meat pit. The cost of excursions is not included in the package. You should check the prices with your tour operator. You've just heard a big fake created on Reddit by an artist named Trevor Roberts. And many people believed in it and went to West Texas to find the living pit. The scale and details of this project are incredible. The artist created brochures issued on behalf of scientists, secret organizations, geologists, and travel companies. He described the pit in detail, made beautiful models in Photoshop, wrote about the internal structure of the hole, and even now continues to keep a fake chronicle of events. It all started in the 70s. Miners were drilling a well searching for oil and found a strange layer of soil. Scientists, geologists, constructors, and secret organizations arrived at the site. They began large-scale excavations and discovered an unknown living organism. Biologists determined that its biological structure is similar to that of mammalians. It had layers of skin, the epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. There are many dangers inside this tunnel. You can get lost if you take the wrong turn. This is not just one colossal passage. Many branches and other sections are leading into the unknown. Another danger is spasms. The organism's walls contract and shrink unpredictably. It's like how your muscles tense up when someone tickles you. There are also little weird creatures living on the walls of the pit that you can meet inside. You have to wear a protective suit to go down there. The walls of the hole can pull moisture out of you even if you don't touch them. The big pit needs to drink and eat. And it needs a lot. Until now, scientists haven't managed to determine the exact size of the pit and how deep underground it stretches. As far as we know, it may be growing and moving towards Earth's core right now. If it gets to the very center, it can cause worldwide destruction. But since the discovery and further study, people have expanded the tunnel inside the pit using technologies developed by Anodyne Deep Earth Mining Company. They built staples that artificially expanded the walls of the body and all of it mostly to turn the pit into a tourist attraction. And in the 80s, this place became one of America's national parks. Anodyne Deep Earth Mining Company built a tunnel one mile long to send tourists there. But many who went there didn't manage to return. There are many mazes inside the pit where you can easily get lost. When the company expanded the tunnel and reinforced the walls with frames and brackets, the pit emitted a long moan, clearly audible for miles away. It felt pain and didn't like what people had been doing to it. The exact age of this superorganism is also unknown, but scientists found shells of ancient sea creatures inside. This suggests that the pit was once underwater. There was an ocean in this place about 146 million years ago. Also, scientists say this is not one organism, but a giant colony of many smaller creatures. Millions of unknown living beings adapted to life inside this monster. Perhaps once upon a time, the pit was a separate organism. Then, over millions of years, other creatures have attached themselves to its insides. 
These creatures, similar to crustaceans and beetles, have developed protection against the gastric juice of the superorganism. But the pit feeds not only on what it gets inside its stomach, it absorbs Earth's resources, oil and water. When nearing the mysterious pit, people noticed that they began to experience a strange feeling of love. They felt happy and wanted to always stay nearby. This is probably why corporations couldn't conduct more thorough experiments on this organism. They just didn't want to hurt it. This attraction worked thanks to the pheromones the pit released into the air. People from all over the world came to the pit to enjoy that love that the monster makes them feel. They organized festivals and shows there and even wrote songs about it. But despite this, some began to use this pit for selfish purposes. Companies discovered that the meat of this creature was a cheap and valuable raw material for other industries. They realized they could earn a lot on this. The creature began to be exploited. Many were afraid that it would wake up and destroy everything around, but the organism continued to remain in the ground. People drilled new tunnels, extracted material, and made excursions. And so, it continued until 2007. On that day, there was a network overload. The power transmission system inside the pit and all the drilling rigs started to send out electric currents. The giant pit began to spasm. At that moment, tourists had an excursion there. The passages began to narrow, and people got stuck there. The rescue operation started. The plan was simple. Scientists decided to throw some toxins into the pit. This was supposed to force the pit to spit people back out. They dumped the substance inside, and it worked. The pit threw out pieces of clothing and some creatures living inside it, but there were no people. Along with that, the pit released a cloud of vapor with an unpleasant smell that spread out for 50 miles. The place became toxic. All people were evacuated. Hotels closed. All construction work stopped. This U.S. national park became a forbidden place, and only people with a high admission level could enter it. Later, the pit became the object of study for secret organizations and scientists. They managed to find out that this creature had five limbs attached to the central body. Which of those are its arms, legs, and head remains unknown. After releasing the toxins, the pit fell asleep again. Sometimes it moves and makes low sounds coming from its depths, reacting to people's research. You can find gigabytes of information about it on Reddit. Trevor Roberts creates brochures, reports, and diagrams about the pit's internal tunnels. Other Reddit users have joined this work. He tries to release materials on the pit twice a month. Also, he plans to create a big album with illustrations and detailed information about his project. Fans expand the world of the mystery pit. You can find their promotional brochures from hotels located near the pit, diagrams of meat tunnels, and even a detailed description of the protective suit in which you can go on an excursion. Many see this project as a philosophical demonstration of the relationship between people and nature. Someone loves to read the details of the pit's internal structure. You can also become a part of this project and come up with something new. Prints on t-shirts and mugs with the image of a pit, for example, or some biological feature, whatever. While people are working on it, the pit continues to breathe, shrink, expand, and make mysterious sounds. The Mystery Mitt Pit is a massive colony of small living organisms, and all these creatures are people. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.